Today we are going to cover calibrating a Fortress Raptor check wear. Prior to proceeding with the calibration process, please ensure that the e-stop is pressed to remove energy from reject devices and motors on the system. Once the e-stop has been pressed and the system is rendered safe, you may now remove the guarding over the weight conveyor of the check wear. In order to calibrate the system, navigate to the calibration menu through the system setting menu at the top right of the home page. Here we see a variety of system settings. At the bottom of our list, we have calibrate. This will open the calibration menu. From the calibration menu, we have a couple different parameters that can be adjusted during the calibration process. The first is the calibration weight. Today we are calibrating with a one kilogram certified calibration weight and we must ensure that the system is expecting to see that exact weight. On our HMI, we see we have a thousand grams listed as our calibration weight, which does match what we are going to be using. Below the weight, we have the calibrate settle duration, which is the amount of time the check wearer is looking to see a settled weight in order to properly calibrate. Now to start the calibration procedure, we press the calibrate button and we are alerted from the system that the current batch needs to be ended prior to calibration. This warning is intended to prevent any users from trying to run a calibration procedure during production, therefore interrupting the flow of production and causing further issues. So we'll go ahead, end the current batch we are running, confirm the batch is ended, and we will start our calibration procedure. The system prompts us to ensure that the weight conveyor is empty before starting. A visual look of the conveyor shows us that there is no outlying weights or anything else holding onto the weight conveyor. So we'll start. The system will tear the scale and now prompts us to place our calibration weight, in this case a 1000 gram weight, onto the scale. I'm placing the weight on the center of our weight conveyor and pressing calibrate. We will now remove the weight and allow the Raptor to tear back to zero. The calibration is successful. The system prompts us. We may now confirm. Exit out of the calibration menu. We can replace the guarding onto our Raptor check wear, release the e-stop, and begin running production.